Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you a really cool trick on how to make millions of gold very quickly, very easily. Basically, anyone can do this trick. The first thing you need it to be is the 27th of fall. The next is a backpack full of items. Doesn't matter which size your backpack is, just fill it up. At least three or four of those things, you're going to want to have expendable garbage because you're going to lose them. So once it is the 27th of fall and you have a backpack full of stuff, stand here and look like an idiot until the festival starts at 10 p.m. Or if you're a good farmer, go and tend to your farm for a while and do that stuff. Once you hit 10 p.m., you can enter the Spirits Eve Festival. Looks just like this. The whole point of this trick is the golden pumpkin, which is found at the end of this maze. This maze is very straightforward. If you have trouble doing it or get lost, put your helmet back on, take the crayons out of your mouth, and go amuse yourself elsewhere. This type of thing clearly isn't for you. So moving along, we'll come past the fountain. Past the very realistic and scary spiders. Almost to the end already, it's just that easy. Once you hit this point, you can simply walk through the hedge. Walk up here and into this mine. You cannot see where you're walking here, it's pretty straightforward. Walk all the way up, then continue to walk all the way right. And then when you stop, move down a little bit, right again, and then straight down to the chest. And this is where the magic happens. Because my backpack is full, as I go to retrieve the item from the chest, which is the golden pumpkin, it gives me an option. I have to replace an item with the golden pumpkin. Instead of doing that, I'm going to take it and throw it on the ground. I'll close my backpack and there it is on the ground and I once again click on the chest and there is another one. I'm also going to throw this one on the ground. Now the game does act strangely here. It does not count one gold pumpkin on the ground as one into your backpack. But luckily I've got the magic number. You want to take 31 golden pumpkins out of the chest and throw them on the ground. That is what 31 pumpkins on the ground looks like. At this point, you simply want to take one of your expendable items, throw it in the garbage. As you can see, I've just picked up 512 pumpkins from the ground somehow. There are still some left on the ground. So as I take another wallpaper away, there is two sets of 800. Not sure why that happens, but it does. Upon removing the third one, they all turn into 812. That is three times 812 golden pumpkins. At this point, you're probably noticing there's more on the ground. We are not going to pick those up. Believe me, it's not worth it. I've tried all sorts of different numbers, all sorts of different ways to make it work. I cannot really get any more than the 2400 pumpkins you see here. I've even thrown several hundred on the ground to see what happens. You get the same effect every time. At this point, the more you pick up, you actually get less in your backpack. So we'll head back to the farm at this point and see how much those are worth. So let's see what all these golden pumpkins are worth. We're looking at a total of 3,125,000 because it only registered 1,250 of them, not the 2,400 I was carrying. Not sure why that happens, don't really care, that's 3 million gold, easy. Obviously this trick kind of breaks the game because once you have 3 million gold you can pretty much do whatever you want very easily, there's not really any challenge, it just takes time from that point to collect and grow and make everything. But one of the really cool things about this trick is you can do it right from the start of the game. If you start a new foul you can literally just sleep until the 27th of fall and go do that exact trick and wake up with 3 million gold without having done anything at all. Also, I know a lot of people have been wondering if you can get to Linus and the wizard at the top of the screen there using the exit the map glitch or anything like that. I haven't been able to personally figure it out. I'm sure someone out there has. If someone knows something about that, please let me know in the comments. I'm very curious about it myself. The trick about trying to get to Linus and the wizard is during the festivals, you can't swing your weapons, which is actually not true. You most certainly can swing your weapons. The trick about trying to get to Linus and the Wizard is normally you can't swing your weapons at the festival, which actually isn't true. You can in fact with the proper combination of buttons. The problem is that when you try and exit the edge of the map, it gives you the option of whether or not you actually want to leave. You can't navigate past that, at least not that I've found. I couldn't find any other points to leave the map at. So once again, maybe someone out there knows something that I don't about a point you can leave this. I've tried all sorts of points in the hedges, cannot seem to escape, cannot talk to the wizard. So I hope you guys like this video. If anyone out there knows any other cool tricks, glitches, whatever, let me know. I will look into it, play with it, try and make some more videos on it. Thanks for watching.